Good morning, this is Sarah, your healthy carnivore, with the second video of the day for something that I um, I came across this morning. It was a video about how watercress is the most, most prized food, the most nutritious food you could eat according to the CDC. So they're on our side, aren't they? The CDC are on our side, guys. Don't forget that. Okay. But it, uh, it, it prompted me to see what the mainstream media is talking about in relation to ultra-processed foods right now. What are the most recent news articles on ultra-processed foods? Because after we had them hitting the headlines about a month ago, we've now got loads of different nutritionists trying to um, stick up for them, saying they're not that bad, they're not all bad, and we can't put them all in the same bracket, right? So this it's caused so much confusion because people are saying, well, of course, Weetabix is so much healthier than Doritos, which I would argue they're both awful myself. And they're saying things like, well, porridge, which you can't, you know, and porridge with a few bits of it can't be anywhere near as bad as that thing over there. And, and now, now we haven't just got food confusion and nutrition confusion we've now got ultra processed food confusion people don't know what to eat but i'd like to talk about that a second so i looked at the news articles that we've got recently within, that have been written in the last week now i haven't i'm going to put the screenshots in here of what people are saying i haven't really i'm not going to refer to which newspapers or outlets are talking about this because um i don't think it's necessary this is just just general opinion on ultra processed foods now let's pop this up there now what i think is quite funny about this is this whole thing has caused so much confusion or created and perpetuated so much confusion that now people are having to say things like this which is just ridiculous right Dietary experts experts advise skipping guidelines on ultra processed foods for now. So what they're saying is we don't want you to worry about this ultra processed food thing for now. We realise it's caused some confusion amongst you all, but we don't want you to worry about it because you know what? We're going to do some research on all those foods and then in five years time, we're going to let you know which ones are okay, right? It says, in the next five years, research is going to explode, explode on the much criticised food products. So we don't need to worry. We have nothing to worry about because in the next five years, they're going to get all these foods. So they're going to, so what are they going to do? Examine the 60,000 crappy foods in the supermarket. And they're going to take them all into a lab and they're going to rip them all apart and think, well, these ones are worse than that. And that's worse than this. And, and that one's got more fiber. So it's probably okay. And, and, and that one's got a bit less vitamin C than that. So don't have, it's a minefield, but don't worry because they're going to sort it out. And at the end of that, so what, what they're basically saying is, Keep eating all the processed foods. Keep eating them. And in five years time, in 2030, we're going to tell you which ones were okay. Isn't that nice? I, th I, I feel reassured. I feel really reassured about that. And then I found another article. <clears throat> now this one is eight simple swaps to cut down your kids' ultra-processed food, UPF, intake. And why kettle chips are okay. I thought, oh, they're now going to explain to us why kettle chips are okay. As half-term starts, Lucy Denia, another one of these nutritional experts, or the author, don't know who she is, don't really care who she is, asks the experts, okay, she's not the expert, she's asking, okay, about how to swap convenience foods with healthier alternatives. Okay, so she's going to tell us that we think that kettle chips might be better than the other stuff. Oh, okay, so here's what 
they've come to the conclusion. This article was huge, but this was the thing that I found the most ridiculous. This was the most ridiculous part of the article. Here's a screenshot. Swap your Walker's crisps for kettle chips. Kettle chips are not UPF. They're not. They're, their own ingredients are potatoes, oil and salt. So if you really want to put that bag of crisps in, these are the ones to go for. So much to unpick there. It's it's a bit passive aggressive, isn't it? Saying if you really want to put bag of crisps in, and if you must, if you must stuff processed foods down your children's mouth, then it's okay because they've only got oil. Talking about oil like it's not... Seed oils... Seed oils are one of the most highly ultra processed things, commodities that we put in our mouths. <sighs> Kettle chips are not better than walkers in any way, stretch your imagination, because they are all made with high amounts of ultra processed, hyper processed oil. And that oil will run my husband's agricultural vehicle. My husband has an agricultural vehicle that he uses for work. We like cars in our house, as you probably worked out, but I have two different ones that I use for work. We're not rich or anything. We're just a bit crazy. Um, my husband has a four by four vehicle that he can actually tip vegetable oil into and it runs. He doesn't do it because the people that make the, the, or the vegetable oil have worked it out and so now it costs the same to buy the vegetable oil as what it would to put gas in your tank they've put the price up so much that it's now the same price as gas in your tank so it's amazing when they sell these oils to these huge food manufacturers like kettle chips they probably sell them really cheaply but to the public they're actually sold at quite a high price so that people are not then buying them instead of the the fuel for the car. <sighs> but that's fine. Kettle chips are fine. Because they're only potatoes, oil and salt. I think we've got it all worked out. But like I said in the beginning, we don't need to worry about this because they've got the scientists on the case and they're going to work it out for us. So over the next five years, research is going to explode. But what that really means is what that 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 screenshot really means is we want you to keep doing what you're doing for the next five years and let us worry about it. What's going to happen to the health of all these people? Because they're now confused as what constitutes a UPF or an HPF or whatever. Stick abbreviations in there, confuse people even more. My mother-in-law wouldn't know her ultra-processed food from any food. She buys things that are seriously ultra-processed and thinks they're pure. She thinks they're pure. But we can't save everyone. We can't save everyone. We can't do anything else. But, but like I said, we don't need to worry. We've got it sorted. They know what they're doing. They're going to now research it for us. So they want us to keep eating everything for the next five years while they figure it out for us okay so it's not something for us to worry about so we don't need to worry about that they've got it sorted that's the end of that video that's all i want to say on that because there's really nothing to worry about there nothing to see i will see you tomorrow on day 101 of my ultra strict carnivore diet thank you very much see you tomorrow bye <laughs>